The second team wishes to hold discussions with Keenan McCardell. Welcome to our channel. First of all, please subscribe and leave a like. It appears that Minnesota Vikings wide receivers coach, Keenan McCardell, is in high demand, as evidenced by two teams approaching him to discuss the possibility of him taking on the role of offensive coordinator in 2023. Last week, the New England Patriots had initial discussions with Keenan McCardell, but ultimately decided to go in a different direction. According to ESPN's Adam Schefter, Alabama's offensive coordinator and quarterback coach, Bill O'Brien, will be named as the Patriots' offensive coordinator. O'Brien previously worked as an assistant coach for the Patriots from 2007 to 2011 and will now be reunited with Mac Jones, whom he briefly coached at Alabama. The second team wishes to hold discussions with Keenan McCardell. Despite being passed over by the New England Patriots, McCardell's prospects may soon improve as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have expressed interest in speaking with him about the role of offensive coordinator. Last week, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers dismissed their 2022 offensive coordinator, Byron Leftwich, as part of a major overhaul of their coaching staff. According to the Tampa Bay Times' Rick Stroud, the team has also confirmed that former Buccaneers wide receiver, Keenan McCardell, who currently serves as the Minnesota Vikings wide receivers coach, will also be interviewed for the offensive coordinator position. McCardell caught two touchdowns for Tampa Bay in Super Bowl 37. Indeed, McCardell played two seasons for the Buccaneers in 2002 and 2023, where he recorded 145 receptions for 1,884 yards and 14 touchdowns, including the previously mentioned Super Bowl ring in 2002. In total, he had a long and successful career in the NFL, playing for 16 seasons from 1992 to 2007, and is ranked 35th all-time in terms of receiving yards in NFL history with 11,373. McCardell joined the Vikings coaching staff in 2021, and when the team underwent changes with a new general manager and coaches a year ago, McCardell was the only coach that remained. Even well-known coaches like Andre Patterson left to join other teams, but McCardell chose to stay and work alongside first-year head coach Kevin O'Connell. If McCardell were to take the offensive coordinator position with the Buccaneers, he would be faced with a significant amount of uncertainty. It is unclear if quarterback Tom Brady, considered one of the greatest of all time, will return to the team or not. This presents a significant question for a potential new offensive coordinator like McCardell. The Buccaneers could opt to draft a rookie quarterback if Brady decides to retire or go elsewhere, stick with the young Kyle Trask, or explore the possibility of signing a veteran like Derek Carr. Only time will tell what the team's next move will be. Other coaches from the Vikings have also been approached for offensive coordinator interviews this cycle. Tight ends coach, Brian Angelicchio, is in talks with the Baltimore Ravens, while quarterback coach, Jared Johnson, is discussing the possibility of becoming the offensive coordinator with the Los Angeles Chargers. The Vikings' current offensive coordinator, Wes Phillips, reportedly declined the same opportunity with the Chargers, stating that he is building something special in Minnesota. Dustin Baker is a political scientist who completed his studies at the University of Minnesota in 2007. He has his own YouTube channel, Vikes Now, where he posts daily content. Additionally, he co-hosts a podcast with Bryant McKinney, which airs every Wednesday along with Ron Saw and Sal Spice. He has been a fan of the Minnesota Vikings since 1996. Among his guilty pleasures are peanut butter ice cream, The Sopranos, and The Doors Band. The statistics provided in this text were obtained from Pro Football Reference and StatHead. The contractual information was provided by OvertHeCap.com. Thanks for watching our video on American football. We hope you enjoyed learning more about the sport and its history. Remember to tune in next week for more exciting content and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Let us know your thoughts on the video in the comments section and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Until next time, stay tuned for more football action.